seen everything but uh, this road uh, the road to Nabiu tomb uh, it's a proper lunar landscape it is tough it is tough many cars will not make it you can just barely see the road like this something about a road somewhere there <laughs> but but anyway we're trusting laser to take us there mm -hmm. to bring us back we are also yeah. being gentle and very careful and no wonder you guys don't go to this tomb. Yeah, feeling yeah. like pioneers mm -hmm. it's tough 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 wow i'm lost for words anyway we'll show you what we'll see we literally have to step out to trying to find a path amongst these stones this is the road oh guys there's no path here man. So we've seen of the tough, tough terrain through the stones. We're just going to cross through this particular lager. It's much clearer. Straight up, it looks much clearer. It's not as rocky. Hoping for a smooth ride ahead. Hey, 
The Turkana beautiful, beautiful uh, sunset. This is the crater. The crater we've come here for. So we are scouting for a good path to use. This is basically it. nomads from the uh, jet sea beautiful morning here it's around uh, 6 45 a.m in the morning we woke up bright and early per usual just soaking in two views at the moment one there's a beautiful massive uh, sunrise right behind me also enjoying the beautiful view of the jet sea right in front of me so we came in here pretty late last night around 7 30 p.m i uh, got down to making dinner immediately then set up our tents and immediately went to sleep. The idea this morning is just to hit the crater, go check it out. So there are two options, you can either hike there or use a boat. So we are thinking of using a boat because it will be faster. We want to assess the water situation first. If the waves are too choppy, then it might not be a good idea. And so we're just trying to engage some few locals and see how we can work out the boat situation. If it doesn't work out, then we'll just have to hit the trail and go hike. Either way, we'll still have to get there, that's the most important thing. You guys stay tuned as you also enjoy this beautiful view of uh, the lake. Good morning, nomads. We are off to Nabiutu. We slept yesterday. The wind was atrocious. I thought it would carry the swag to the lake. We're just next to the lake. Amazing stuff. Never used a boat as bad as the one we used. It's not, it's not a boat. <laughs> I was on low range almost all through like 30 kilometers with my rear diff lock locked. I could not believe that we made it here. I don't know how we'll make it back, but hey, the best places are often the toughest. See it in your eyes 
You've seen the moon and its darker side I can feel the gravity The forces pull between you and me Yes, it's true, I'm falling hard for you But I won't rush this love I can wait if it's time to leave here Starting to catch a break as you can see, the crater is now much more visible. Now, your tomb is just. <laughs> Someone build it up. Build it up. Guys, we are on the trail. It's not easy. The roads are very rocky, but I believe we'll make it. How many craters have you been to? Longolot, Ugado, Benengai, Nabio tomb. So, we are proceeding with our hike. people Chopper people this is your ride right in front of us but unfortunately we can't we can't go up ahead straight because of that the rock formations there it's dangerous then there's also a small lake just beside the crater so you can't cross through the lake because there are crocodiles if you have a boat then you can go through we're going straight ahead then we'll take a turn there then come back come back this way our second break we stretch a bit like the turn there so essentially the crater is behind this rock formation. Wow, 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 wow. How about this for a bit? This is lava. Also I believe molten lava. See how dark it looks like. Oh. Now for the long trek up, then we enjoy the views from up top. You can see on the far end, Ruto and Hatiji are walking. Need to catch up with them. This is why the Kinkana is called Jet Sea. You see that shade of green? 
this nice shade of green, this is how it's called Jitsi. This is where the locals get their water from. They dig holes right beside the lake, then the water comes up. This is where they drink from. Essentially, it's water that has seeped through the soil, uh, which is very clean. Uh, the crater now is just within Nam's Reach. The views are, well, are beautiful. The landscapes are otherworldly. <laughs> but getting here. <laughs> yeah. That black brown something that grows that is yeah. mm -hmm. it's coming from that volcano. There's a volcano. Yeah, Brolin is down there. That is coming. So we have already started climbing the bio tomb. Yeah, so we're just here yeah, on its slopes. Yeah, Ruto was telling me we end the, our journey down there at the lake, and I'm telling him no, we have to do this. <laughs> I know right now you are tired, but when you get up there, the views will blow you away and you won't even remember how tough it was. Uh -huh. It's just that it's so smooth. It's not smooth, imagine. You'll be fine, don't worry. made it to the top of the crater. Damn, it's been a long hike. Hmm? All night, no sleep. Leaving our mark as well, it's time to travel, nomad nation. So guys, we'll be hitching a boat ride from here back to come. We're not hiking back, we're racing for a boat ride. Ruto and Adija made it here, but it just got a little swarm, feeling refreshed. is made of sedimentary rocks which will break off and slide down and you need to find a good place to grab and then move on all fours but we made it we made it now we are pulling our heads here
boy. It's been real. Kuna pressure brolin. dropping off our, our guards, our rangers who took us to uh, who took 
pass to the GP before we proceed. So we finally made it to camp. Just want to prepare dinner and uh, settle down into the night, get some rest, and uh, figure it out from there. Wow, Rollins, what are you making today? Uh, we're making gum mm -hmm. and uh, machoma. Yeah, my trauma, I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm So after an awesome stay uh, here at Tum, just about to step out as uh, we head back to Nairobi. It's a small space. The bulk of it is a garage. There's a play area, a water point for the local residents. And then over there, that's the owner's garage. He does a lot of bills for Land Rovers. This is the garage area. Pass our regards to your wife. Yeah. The rooms are looking very I nice. Very We've gone to remote places and we don't, I have never seen such a commodity yeah. like you are. I'll send you a number then you can send her a message. <laughs> no problem, we will no. do that. Kwaheri, Baki Salama. This has been an amazing, amazing uh, past five days. I actually feel like it has been longer maybe because of how much you've seen, how much you've explored, uh, the small, small challenges you've been through, hiking and whatnot. Thank you all for watching this far. Please show up for the meet so that you can get to know more about us, uh, get to connect and uh, just uh, socialize with fellow travel enthusiasts. Hi beautiful people, it was such an amazing trip. I think there's nothing that comes easy, even in life generally. You need to work for it. Even these beautiful places, you need to go through bad roads, hills, valley, laggers <laughs> to get to those places. Yeah?